With our first solar setup on the RV, we knew absolutely nothing about solar, and we made a lot of mistakes because of it. Yeah, we didn't understand how the power went from the solar panel on the roof to the outlet inside the RV. But over the years, we've learned a lot about how solar works, and we want to share it with you in the simplest terms possible. Yeah, stuff we could actually understand ourselves. So we're thinking of this as our video diary to ourselves like five years ago. Yeah, younger <laughs> self, learn. <laughs> So what I want to explain here is exactly what I didn't understand when we had our first solar setup installed. How the power gets from the sun to our outlets. Now the first step is the sun's rays hit these panels and the panels produce power. Now I think everybody pretty much understands that at this point, uh, but what happens next? Well all these panels are connected together with wires and the power comes out of the panels into these wires right here and down the side of the coach. Come on down. The power comes down the wires and into this solar charge controller. And basically what it does is it controls the flow of power from your solar panels into your batteries. And the biggest feature that this little charge controller does is keeps your batteries from overcharging because overcharging batteries is very bad. From the solar charge controller, the power then comes in to your batteries. And the batteries are your power storage unit. So they store the power. And ours look a little bit different because they're lithium. But in general, the more battery capacity you have, the more power you can store and the more power you can use. Most batteries store DC power, which looks like this. Now, if every device we used had a plug that looked like this, we could just start pulling that power directly from the batteries. However, most devices that we use have a plug that looks like this, which is AC power. So now we need to go from DC power to AC power. Which brings us to the inverter. And well, that's exactly what it does. The DC power comes in right here, goes into this white box, gets inverted to AC power, comes out this cable right here and goes to Come on, clean it up. <laughs> our breaker box. And it adds another level of protection against things like surges. And from here, the power is then sent to the outlets. And now we're ready to pull some power. Singa, you ready for some coffee? Do you need your caffeine fix for the day? Which brings us to this little remote meter here. It's part of our battery monitoring kit, and it helps us keep tabs on how much power is coming in and out of our batteries. And I really think it's the most important piece of the solar puzzle, which is why I'll dive in a little bit deeper, or a lot deeper, in another video. Hopefully we kept that as simple as we said we would in the beginning. Yes, I think if there's one piece of advice we could go back and give ourselves about how solar works, it would be that there is more to the overall solar puzzle than just the solar panels themselves. And the more you know about each of the pieces of the puzzle, the less likely you are to make some of the same mistakes that we made. Definitely. Now, if you want to get caught up on all of our past solar videos, make sure and check out our solar page because, well, there's a lot more information there. And there's a whole lot more information to come. Yes, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll yeah. see you down the road. Bye. Bye. Now, how about that coffee? Uh, hopefully.